guys, I'm Mitch. Today we got a 2000 H1 Hummer in here. And this thing has been wrapped before by a different shop. It's about a two year old wrap. We got it in the shop now because we're gonna be doing a full removal on it. We're doing our own custom printed graphic and we're gonna take you along for the ride. So a lot of our removal, we like to use heat guns instead of other uh, heat sources, only because heat guns distribute the heat the best. Torches, you know, uh, you can also use torches, but a lot of the time they're just focused on one area and doesn't distribute the heat as well as a heat gun will. Some common mistakes you get with uh, vinyl removal is uh, overheating the panel too much. If you put too much heat onto the vinyl, it's actually gonna wanna rip on you and not hold its uh, stretch. It's not as difficult as it may seem as long as you get into a good rhythm. If you have the heat gun in one hand heating up the surface before you pull it with your other hand, it becomes pretty simple. The biggest thing is just getting into a rhythm. An important detail when you are removing vinyl, and I think this will help a lot of people, and it certainly has helped us, is making sure you pull away from the area that you're working into and not pulling against it. It'll just help limit the amount of adhesive you leave behind. I would also advise for somebody who doesn't do a lot of vinyl removal often is to maybe wear a pair of gloves or something because you can expect your hands to start burning. Just the, the heat from the heat gun so close to your hands might affect you know, the skin on your hands. We're going to be setting up our roll of vinyl that we just printed out. I'm going to take off this old core and then we will set the new one in this place. This is a laminator. We have a roll of vinyl that came right off the printer down here, and it is going to be laminated by a laminate roll that's, uh, the laminate will come off the backing paper. It'll split in half, which you see down here in this corner. The backing will all roll up in this feed here, and the rest of the actual laminate that's uh, getting put on the vinyl is gonna meet up between these two rollers. Uh, we'll be moving and spinning as the vinyl gets fed in. It's gonna be laminated at the same time with the laminate. The key when you're laminating is not to stop the rollers at any moment when you start the, uh, the lamination process, only because when you make a full stop, it's gonna leave a line of where the roller stopped when it was pressed down flat. Uh, so when you're done, you'll have a little tiny line going across the sheet and you can tell exactly where do you stop? So even though he asked me to slow it down, I can't fully stop it. I'm just moving really slowly so the roller at least keeps having some forward motion. Um, so this film is, uh, the print film that we just got, took out of the printer is a 54 inch wide roll. And the laminate is a 60 inch wide roll. So we have those extra six inches there that Darian is cutting off of laminate that is not being used. Just uh, trying to get this vinyl in these aggressive curves on this door. Uh, they're quite the challenge, so we're just trying to make sure that uh, we tackle it the best way possible. Uh, you want to make sure you apply stretch in the right areas. Uh, you want it to look good when it leaves, but you want it to stay looking good, you know, several months down the road. All right, so we got this door knocked out. It was uh, pretty challenging, all the stretch and these aggressive areas and everything, but we got it taken care of, got it post heated. I will go back and post heat again later just to make sure that it is down and it's not gonna go anywhere. Uh, now we're gonna go ahead and tackle this quarter panel with the uh, the window area. We have some uh, rivets over here that we're gonna be having to roll out as well. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and start tackling that. Let's get into it. So right now I'm just going to roughly get it dry hung up here and then once I have it up here on the car, I'm gonna use the proof and I'm gonna to try to get up my lineup points and also line up where this overlaps on the next panel. That's the main thing. There's no words on here, so it's not super, super important for it to be level. Obviously, you don't want it to be skewed or anything, but our main thing is we just wanna line up these points and get it where the proof shows it at. Here, um, it has rivets on here, which obviously rivets have a head of a bolt pretty much they won't come out. Um, so in order to wrap around them, you have to heat over them. You can't just squeegee over the rivet because since the rivet pops up off the panel, you, it, you can't squeegee through it and it's gonna make it all bunch up and wrinkle. So we're gonna use, and what I like to use is just a little paint roller. They make specific tools for rivets. Uh, they're called Rolly Pros. It's intended, it's a little wheel that you kind of heat up and roll over the, uh, the rivet itself. I've used it, I don't prefer it. I, I like little paint roll rollers like this. They're wider as well, so you get more coverage. And I'll kind of show you how this works. So pretty much we tightened up all the film around the rivet. You can see the little holes, the uh, little uh, dots. That's where the line of rivets are. And essentially all we're doing is you're pulling the film tight over those, hole, over those rivets. And then I'm gonna heat up a section. I'm gonna get them hot and then I'm gonna roll those rivets in. And that's pretty much what you get. Now you can make some uh, mistakes here if you don't know what you're doing. The biggest one would be putting too much or not enough heat on it. If you're putting too much heat um, on these rivets 
As you can see here, the top, uh, the vinyl is tacked to the top of the rivet. It is stuck to there. Everything else around it is in the air. So what's gonna happen is you're gonna heat the rivet. The part of the vinyl that's touching the top of the film is not gonna wanna expand because it's already touching the rivet. Everything else around it is in the air. So if you put too much heat, it's gonna wanna uh, rip around this area. It's gonna get too thin. And then when you try to roll over it, it's just gonna rip on you because the film is too thin in that area. And once we're on the end here, we're just gonna tighten that up around the corner. And I'm not gonna roll into the corner just because the corner is already blocked off. The air can't come out of the corner. We have openings in the top and bottom, so I'm gonna just roll it down instead of to the side. There we go. I'm just trying to get this edge tucked up under over uh, on this rail right here. There's like a really small channel in here, so you wanna make sure that you have contact in here before you uh, tuck it in the top. You don't wanna stretch it and bridge it across. So you kind of have to feed it in there a little bit. So rivets are not the only thing you can use this roller on to heat around. Um, you can do that pretty much on any uh, areas on a vehicle that just slightly pop out, such as this vent right here. So there's a cover to this vent that we took off, but behind it you obviously have little slits of where the air comes in and out. And around those you have little uh, bolt holes. So I can show you here. You can also heat areas like this out. Just because there's a lot of little slits in the vent, you'll pretty much have the wrap going through all these little slits just by rolling over them. And then when you get little pockets of air building up, you just need to, uh, just need to relieve that air somewhere. So I'm just gonna open up this back edge and get right around there. Uh, currently standing on this H1 trying to work on this hood. We're just getting it laid and then we're going to have to do a couple relief cuts so that we can lay the rest of it around this vent and around these hooks. Uh, for now we're just getting the placement locked in. Um, right now I'm focused on getting this. There's a graphic in this hood and it has some straight lines in it. I want to make sure that they're straight and symmetrical on both sides. Well I thought we were just playing on cutting that and then putting like triangles in there. So there's a huge vent on this hood right here and there's a lot of uh, like right angles and everything. And so we're just trying to figure out the best way to wrap this and leave the uh, graphic like as much on there as we can. We don't want to put a bunch of seams in weird spots. There's a lot of, you know, weird angles and weird shapes and everything. We're just trying to, you know, put our heads together and, and do it the best way. Yeah. 